databases come in many flavors relational or sql no sql graph time series and more but they all share one core mission storing and managing data efficiently among these relational databases are the most widely used they organize data into structured tables often splitting it across multiple tables to avoid redundancy and keep things tidy this is where joins come into play joins allow you to combine data from these tables using a common link like say user id making it easy to fetch meaningful insights in the world of relational databases joins are the glue that holds your data together making them an essential skill for anyone working with data so whether you are building apps analyzing data or generating reports mastering joins is your ticket to working smarter not harder in this video we'll dive deep into different types of joins when to use them and how they impact your database performance with practical examples to help you master this skill in no time by the end you will have a solid understanding of how to efficiently retrieve and combine data from multiple tables so let's get started imagine you are managing an online store you have one table storing customer details and another table storing orders without joins retrieving data that links customer to their orders would require writing multiple queries and manually combining the results this is not only inefficient but also prone to errors joins solve this problem by allowing you to retrieve data from multiple related tables in a single query this makes data access faster more organized and scalable for example Let's say you want to generate a report that lists customers alongside their purchased products. Instead of storing all this information in a single massive table, which would lead to redundancy and inefficiency, joins allow you to link the customers table to the orders table using a common key, such as customer ID. This relational approach keeps data clean, avoids duplication and improves query performance. In short, joins help fetch related data efficiently. reduce data redundancy improve database performance and make your sql queries more manageable and scalable now before we get started a lot of tutorials use venn diagrams to explain sql joins and it's easy for me to create a visually attractive representation but here is the catch venn diagrams deal with sets not rows so they don't fully capture how joins actually work behind the scenes in reality every join starts as a cartesian product that's every row of one table multiplied by every row of another and then applies a filter or predicate to select the rows that match so while venn diagrams can help new learners see what might be included or excluded they sort of oversimplify the row by row mechanics of sql the more accurate approach is using table based diagrams that way you avoid confusion about which rows are actually returned by your query and with this context in mind let's dive into the different types of joins and their practical applications imagine you have two tables in a database customer table and orders table the customer id column is common in both tables linking a customer to their order using sql joins we can connect these tables in different ways inner join matches records where there is a common value in both tables this is the most commonly used join especially in transactional systems where we need to retrieve only the relevant data from related tables for example fetching all customers who have made a purchase and here is the query for that select customers.name orders.product from customers inner join orders on customers.customer id and orders.customer id and here since charlie has no orders and order id 104 has no matching customer id both of them are excluded left join or left outer join returns all records from the left table customers and matching records from the right table orders and if there is no match null is returned Now left join is widely used in reporting and analytics where missing values are still useful to display. For example, listing all customers including those who have never made a purchase. Right join or right outer join is opposite of left join. It returns all records from the right table orders and matching records from the left table customers. There is no match, null is returned. This join is less commonly used but can be useful when the primary focus is on the right side table such as retrieving all orders even if some orders don't have associated customers the order id is 104 has no customer match so the name column is null full outer join returns all records from both tables and if there is no match null appears 
And this join is commonly used for data reconciliation and merging data sets where we want to retain all records from both tables. Cross join forms every possible combination of rows between two tables. A cross join is used when you want to create a Cartesian product, meaning every row from the first table is paired with every row from the second table. And this type of join is useful for generating all possible combinations of two data sets, such as testing all product and customer pairings in an e-commerce application. A natural join works by automatically detecting and joining tables on columns with the same name. While it can simplify queries, it should be used with caution as unintended matches may occur if column names are not explicitly controlled. Unlike a cross join, a natural join ensures that only rows with matching customer ID values are included in the output. It simplifies queries when you know that both tables share meaningful column names. However, natural join should be used with caution because it relies on implicit column matching. If column names change or if unintended matching occurs, the results might not be as expected. Now, earlier I mentioned that Venn diagrams can be misleading and it's often clearer to understand joins with tabular based join diagrams. Let's talk about the foundation, the cross join. With a cross join, if you have three rows in one table and four rows in another, you get three cross four equal to 12 result rows. Hence the cross in cross join. All other join types are built on top of this basic concept, but add filters or unions of unmatched rows. Let's look at these two tables. The left one has rows labeled one, two, and three, and the right one has rows labeled A, B, and C. Now watch how different join types include or exclude these rows. Think of inner join as a common ground. You only get rows that match on both sides. Here you see rows two and A match up, three and B match up, and everything else is left out. In left join, you keep everything from the left table, that is rows one, two, and three, and bring in matches from the right table if they exist. You'll see row 1 stays even if it doesn't match anything on the right, but rows 2 and 3 match up with A and B. Right join is the same idea but reserved. We keep everything from the right table, that is rows A, B and C, and then bring in matches from the left side. So A and B get matched and C stays even though there is nothing matching it on the left. Full join is the all-inclusive version. Every row from both tables is included whether they match or not. Row 1 from the left, row C from the right, everyone is there with blank or null cells if there is no match. These four diagrams here show at a glance how many rows survive in each type of join. And that's really the key idea. Now I understand for many people, Venn diagrams might still be the quicker way to understand joins at a glance. So here is a dynamic visualizer which you can explore to see these concepts in action. You can find the link in description. SQL Joins Visualizer helps you build SQL join between two tables by using Venn diagrams. You can select the area and it creates a SQL query accordingly. However, if you need absolute clarity, it's often better to use tabular join diagrams, which are more precise and visually insightful. SQL joins are essential for combining data from multiple tables, making them a fundamental skill for anyone working with databases. Knowing when to use each type of join ensures that you can retrieve data efficiently and accurately. Inner join is best for retrieving only matching data and most commonly used in applications. Left join is great for reports where missing data should still be shown. Right join is useful when the right side table is more important. Full auto join is ideal for data reconciliation tasks. A cross join is helpful for generating all possible combinations. And natural join is useful for simplifying queries but should be used with caution. Now that you understand SQL joins, it's time to put your knowledge into action. Try writing out your own queries, test different joins and explore how they impact performance in real world scenarios. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to share it with others who might benefit. Keep experimenting, keep learning and happy querying.